So there are certain strengths that you or focus points of things that matter or maybe even, maybe even strengths. There's things that'll come to focus as what's important if you have if you're like aware of the fragility of your maybe I mean maybe but it, if you're aware of death or you think of death or you're cognizant of the reality of death and you have that like focus of awareness or whatever there's certain things that'll come to your awareness like focus wise or things that are like important or certain things that will be focused on like maybe certain like abilities that you have to add to the world and maybe like things God does in your life or spiritual things. That's at least kind of what I noticed when trying to like think about death or, or be, or be aware or accepting of the reality of death this time around. I think about death normally, but for some time this time around, unless it's happened before and I just haven't noticed, um, this time around there's like those in trying to touch death or accept death or hard to like fully do it this time around in this way, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what makes this different than other times that I've thought about death or whatnot, but, um, but those are the two things that I think I noticed for myself is that at either thing, like, I don't know if they're fully happening, but just, or that were maybe just starting to happen or seems like they're going to happen or starting to happen was the, like, spiritual things or God in my life or God in my life. Um, and then also like the, the thought of like what I add to the world or like things that I offer, things that are special about me, kind of something like that. Um, but I think in reality, I don't like, the the truth of things as far as life and death is i don't i feel like it's either like i don't know because it seems like there's certain strengths that come with or focus points that come with trying to accept death or focus on the reality of death or accept the reality of death or whatnot but then that's it seemed like maybe that's not it even though there are certain strengths or focuses that come with that. Like, there might even be strengths. Like, in reality, I keep saying strengths. Even in the Friends with Death video, I, I said strengths. And, like, I don't I don't know for sure about strengths, but focus points or, th or like, things that you realize are, like, focus points or things that get higher on the focus list or something. But maybe there are strengths that come with that, too. If you actually have an acceptance of death, of that reality, there are strengths that I would think should be able to come with that. Like maybe not living your life so shelteredly or timidly or whatnot, perhaps. If you To be able to approach life like Hit Girl from Kick-Ass or... something or whatever character um but like i feel like maybe accepting death or something with that is something to hold on to since there are certain focus points and maybe even strengths that could come with it but to kind of like Or may maybe it's maybe it's even like because there's this kind of other way of going about it, that's like. Maybe it's kind of like having an acceptance of death or like, 
an awareness of death kind of in the background or as like a previous thought, which would make sense since I just had reflections on death and stuff like that. But maybe with like that awareness of death kind of in the background or after thinking about it to like, like live life or to like be present for life to accept life maybe <laughs> um to be friends with life maybe like and i'm not aware of any like focus points that will come to clarity or like or necessarily strengths that come with that but that seems like more the way to do it or more what should be And maybe there's a way that, like, accepting death and accepting life can come together in, like, the most optimal balance or something. Or maybe there's different ways of going about life. I don't know. I mean, there are different ways of going about life, but as far as, like, the reality of death is concerned and how you live your life or how you navigate life and death, there, prob there should actually be some optimal points. But I, so, and if there's an optimal point, I think that optimal point wouldn't be living in the reality of like death, not to live in that. I don't think that would be the optimal point. I don't know. There's something about death that just like, messes with what a human mind can handle or what a human can handle like there's something about death that maybe we're just not supposed to fully maybe there are some people that can fully like process it or whatnot but generally it's like like someone someone like it's it's like your mind can't like it's not for a human to fully understand, generally speaking, or to for a human to generally fully be able to comprehend. Because, like, someone died earlier this year, and, like, eventually, like, especially because for me there's, like, purpose with it that I could, like, narrative-wise that I could take with it, kind of, or with my own journey, eventually came to a point where it's, like, I felt like the like the mother of said child or like like in my like I would kind of feel like they should like just get over it kind of thing but then like I started to like and even to some degree like I could still think that as far as like being able to dance with what comes or to like move on kind of thing but like I started to I started to like like, there are things that made me, like, connect with that. And I don't think to say that I wouldn't be able to connect with, like, connect or sympathize or, or whatever before when I got to that point. Um, but, like, it's, it's like your brain, like, months later will process at deeper levels or come more and more to the truth of, like, this person is dead, and it takes, like, months, like, and that, like, but what helped me, like, feel more like maybe they were feeling is that, like, there's a point where I started, like, just noticing things that reminded me of, of this child or this teen that died, and, like, made me feel a little bit or kind or in a similar realm of maybe how they felt um it's still not good to like dwell in death like because you don't want to live your whole life like off of someone's death or like you don't want your life to like die be with someone or to like you're still alive kind of thing. To be able to flow with what happens. 
But to do that, you have to be able to see in deeper ways and stuff. You have to be able to see in deeper ways. In life, it helps to be able to see things from different angles and to see things in deeper ways. For the little things that happen, perhaps. For the big things that happen. But... Yeah. I wonder what, what is the optimal point of acceptance of death and acceptance of life. What's the right tuning? Or is one path to like accept death and to kind of have that road of like death is inevitable, just like acceptance of death. Is that one road and then like not to think about death? Which there's a bliss that comes with that, like how I was when I was a child to a certain degree where I didn't like I just kind of like like you know about the idea of death, but you don't like worry about it. It's almost like you, I don't know. And maybe even that's how it should be. Like, I don't know if it's that you feel like you're, like it's not like stuff just isn't gonna happen to you or like you just assume that you're gonna live, which is what I feel like is different people's cases sometimes. Other people maybe have, like, more anxiety or, like, oh, my gosh, I could die and they think death could happen to them. But me, when I was younger, like, when I was, like, young Christian, like, I didn't, like, I, I didn't worry about death, I don't think. It's just kind of this bliss that you, like, exist in. I mean, not, not that I didn't have struggles, like, with parents or with whatever else, but, like, death-wise, like, probably, like, aware of the idea, like, but it just, and also, I never experienced people that I knew dying much. Like, in high school, there was someone that committed suicide, Jonathan, but I didn't, like, know him, know him. I knew him a little bit, so it did, like, affect me some a little, and it kind of... I remember my teacher, like, when, because there was, like, an announcement, I don't know, I don't know if there was, like, a, P, like, a, um, like, an announcement, like, a school announcement thing, there might have been, um, or maybe the teacher himself mentioned it, but either way, the teacher seemed to, like, just have this, like, didn't want to give like it was weird to me how we just mentioned the death or whatever and just moved on with stuff like that it was too like that should be a moment or that should be like a thing but and that teacher mr modine i feel like he even though he didn't say it i felt like he didn't want to give attention to that or did that didn't deserve attention like i don't know someone su committing suicide like they shouldn't have done that like that's maybe they're weak i don't know something like either he looked down at it or didn't think well of it or something but yeah